this is a fairly basic question. However, since we don't work with imaging as much in therapeutic medical physics, it's important to brush up on some of the basics in case those topics come up. So what is CR and DR within the imaging realm? Briefly describe each one. And then what are the advantages and disadvantages of both of those clinically? So CR stands for computed radiography. Typically, these images are more blurry, they are less defined, and normally they use older technology, whereas digital radiography, or DR, they use the newer technology. The images are much sharper, they're more defined, you see better contrast, and they simply just look much better and use less dose. So to describe each one, and I will say here, at some point, there's not enough to know everything in the world. So in the grand scheme of things, this is something to know a good basic amount of information on, but don't study hours in the CR and DR, because more than likely, you probably won't get asked about it. But it's a simple enough topic that if you do, it's nice to know and be able to answer questions based on the topic because it is a fundamental imaging question. So to jump into computed radiography, you use these photosensitive phosphors that are housed in a cassette. So I mentioned that the older technology, first of all, is using an actual cassette with a phosphor inside of it. Barium fluorohalide is used and that phosphor emits light after it is exposed to x-rays. But some of that energy is held in the traps that we can release with lasers. So ultimately for CR, what we do is we shoot the film and then we send a red laser and specifically it has to be red that stimulates the luminescence. That is then sent to a PMT, a photomultiplier tube. This is then digitized, digitized, and those essentially just take the values and put them in the pixel values, and then that CR plate is cleared, and you can reuse that again, and that is cleared with white light. So now DR. DR uses x-ray sensitive plates to directly capture data and immediately sends that data. So it's a much more efficient. And that's one reason why it also requires less dose than CR. So it uses the indirect flat panel detectors. So essentially amorphous silicon is the most common. It uses the amorphous silicon flat panel detectors this ultimately is going to convert x-rays to light, x-rays to light, and then that goes to the photodiode and then a digital image. So it takes away a lot of steps that CR does, and this typically is read by a thin film transistor. The amorphous selenium can also be used instead of amorphous silicon, but most of the ones I know of, and again, I also have limited knowledge because I'm a therapeutic medical physicist, but all the ones I know of use silicon, but selenium is also an option. And that is a, that's more, even more direct than the silicon is. And that's where photons are directly turned into charge. X-rays make the electron hole pairs, and then the holes are replaced with electrons. The charge pattern can be read out via a TFT display. Getting pretty hairy into the weeds here. And again, my knowledge is also limited. So I would remember these big, that was a horrible line, but that is what I would remember. In general, the steps that it takes to create one of those images, which one is CR, which one is DR, and which one looks better. So now what are the advantages and disadvantages of this? So for CR, the advantages are that it can be used for systems with film screen, film screen cassette. So really, there's no new equipment that's needed. So depending on where you work, you may have older machines or you may work at a rural clinic that just doesn't have the equipment that can do DR. And that also allows you to do portable x-rays, which is really nice because who knows what you're imaging. The, 
how the patient can move and just what the circumstances are in needing to image a patient. Whereas DR, the advantages are that they are faster, much faster. They get in general better quality as we've already discussed. So that's certainly something very important. And then it actually, I think I mentioned before, is less dose and it's two to three times less dose than CR. So a very significant amount. So those are the advantages. I've kind of already discussed what the disadvantages are. DR, you may have to buy new equipment. There is an immediate cost associated with that. CR, you have less quality and you have more dose. It's slower. So that is the big things I would know about CR and DR. Study those. If you have any questions, please let me know. And best of luck studying. Thank you.